And a strange odor in St. Charles County that some say they could smell for miles. Well, it appears to be gone since our last Fox Files report. Yeah, investigator Chris Hayes finds out what may have happened to it. Not just here in Wentzville, but for miles. People reported smelling this in Warren and Lincoln counties. We reported on this December 2nd. Two weeks later, complaints stopped. So my staff's been out there with like bloodhounds. I've been out there. Uh, trying to determine where it's coming from, so I'm glad that we found a source. We showed you how Wentzville Mayor Nick Cuccioni and Public Works Director Sue Spiegel were tracking citizen complaints about unexplained odors people have described ranging from musty to chemical. Yeah, we were <laughs> we were walking in ditches, walking around different you know, facilities and plants and, and trying to locate you know the smell and where the strongest point was. They worked with the Missouri DNR, Department of Natural Resources, whose Caroline Cargis used special sensors she did not find violations, but her work helped narrow the possible source to Wentzville's General Motors plant. I'm very satisfied with the way that the investigation went. Everybody was helpful. Everybody wanted to find what it was and to find a solution. And it seems that we have done that in a relatively short period of time. GM also cooperated, asking citizens to report what they were smelling. And today the plant announced we have completed several projects over the winter break, including deep cleaning of our paint sludge system, which should significantly reduce any musty odors associated with the plant. We will continue to monitor the paint sludge system to ensure it is operating as intended. This is that part of the plant. The paint sludge system collects excess paint after vehicles are sprayed. During the shutdown, they may have become stagnant because there was a shutdown during COVID. So they may have become stagnant and that caused the smell. Well, since then, they've uh, mitigated that. They've done a deep cleaning in the plant as well as the, the tanks. And in two weeks, knock on wood, I haven't had any complaints or emails about it. The lack of reported odor complaints has held true through both cold and warm days. The mayor's office, DNR, and reps from GM are all following up January 14th at the assembly plant for a follow-up inspection. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.